Um, and just finally I'll show you how to once you've got these agents in the scene um, there's not a lot you can actually do with them until you um, apply some sort of rendering effect to them. Um, they don't render by themselves and unless you're moving a, a scene item you won't see anything at all. A um, couple of ways of doing that. First and they, probably the most common way that you'll interact with them is to use the instancer. The flocking system creates a basic lightwave particle system and this is how the instancer interacts with it. So if I just load in a So I've loaded in a fish object here. Just shrink that down a bit. If we add the fish local and particles, you can see there that the fish has now been applied to all of those agents. dark, you can't see it. Hang on. There. So you can see now that the fish has been applied to all those agents, we now have something in the scene that we can use to visualize all those positions with. And then we have a fairly nice school of fish swimming along that path where the agents were before. And you can also so for example, I'll just turn this off. You can also apply hypervoxels to these. So if we just load up the hypervoxel panel. Um, so for example, surface HVs. And you can see there the um, surface, surp surface hypervoxels being rendered on top of the on top of the agents. And you can produce some fairly interesting um, fluid effects because the agents tend to clump together. So as you can see there the um, you know the blob's not breaking up. It's moving quite nicely through space there. Um, so you shade that up like a you know, liquid metal or whatever. So that's another way that you can interact with um, with flocking systems by using hypervoxels. Uh, I hope the um, this quick introduction to the flocking system has um, explained a little bit about how the system works and um, some of the things you can do with it. So thank you for watching.